Forget about it all later. <laughs> I feel like there is a pull off up here. Oh, good. I got, I'm not sure. I don't want to. If anybody also wants to volunteer, who wants to teach uh, everybody uh, different techniques as well, Qigong, Tai Chi, uh, Yoga, that's fine, that's welcome as well too. What I really just want to teach you is the grounding technique and then a little bit of Qigong. And then you guys are free to kind of express, express and explore yourself. That's important, that's why we're here. Okay? So, we're just going to start off just by getting a kind of a loose horse stance. Okay, you don't have to go as wide as me if you only want to go about this wide. That's fine as well too. Okay? So, I'm just going to go wide like this, this is what I feel comfortable with, okay? So again, tucking the tailbone in, keeping your spine straight and erect, okay? And now we're just going to feel like our feet are growing our roots, okay? Roots are going deeply into the earth, they're connecting deeply past the deck, they're going deeply into the earth, and we're just feeling that ground soil connection coming in. And we're feeling that ground energy moving up through our roots, moving up through our feet, okay? I just want you to visualize that within your mind right now. Your ground energy coming up into your feet, coming up into your ankles, okay, coming up into your shins, right up to your knees. Okay, and then moving that ground energy up into the, uh, the base of the spine, base chakra. Okay, and now we're going to combine that ground energy together with the root. Okay. So I just want you now to visualize within your mind the color of red, okay, like a medium tone red. I just want you to feel that brown energy kind of just from mixing, layering itself around that red energy. Okay. Now I want you to move it up into the orange ray, the, the, the sacral chakra or the navel chakra, orange color. Again, kind of layering it around that chakra as well too. Then we move up to the solar plexus. You feel that medium yellow color. I'm feeling that brown energy. Again, layering.
but where we're going to Dunsmuir, the next two waterfalls, there will be, and I can point you know, <laughs> I love looking at water, like the, the river. So so
you to come to. Quite. <laughs> Different dimension. They're doing it from a high frequency. Well, there's inner earth beings or something apparently, right? They live inside. Everybody has their own reality. <laughs> yeah. dry at this point. But to still have flowers in the middle of summer, or end of summer, it's pretty amazing. So this is Panther Meadows? Yeah. And this is all... This is the... This is Panther, yeah, this is the main meadow. And there's... This is all spring water that technically you can drink. Assuming no one's at spring. to uh because of the wall.
something like the sound I'm making. I'm sorry, I'm just pretending. What are you giving me? Uh, See his face in it. <laughs> Pretend like you have Look something. Look at your nuts. Look at your nuts. Look at your nuts. Oh. I don't have them. Right behind you, the nut. Where is it? On the ground right there. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh, well done. Well done. Mm. Aww, sweet little so cute. cuteness. Do another one? Sure. It's, I think it's a dog. He's like a. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> he had one in his mouth. He's like, he already has. I'll come back. <laughs> he's like, I'm so freaking stuck. He's coming. He's coming. Here you go. He's coming. He's coming. Don't do the jukebox. Oh, that's so cute. Look at his tail. You found another one. Ah. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, you are so cute. So cute. <laughs> do, 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 do. Go. Come get some more. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. Here you go. Food. Only a little left. Go bury it. Look at it's in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> is he carrying it? <laughs> or is his mouth? Oh, oh, oh no. shit. Go. Here. No, 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 we'll stop him. <laughs> there you <Hopefully>. go. <laughs> I liked it. I was like, whoa. Wow. Like, slow as you can flow than that. Like, super slow. Real slow. slow. It's tied up. That's okay. Open it. It'll, it'll make. Go ahead. Just uh, take a step. There you go. No. And then, so, what? here, I'll move it away from this. Once. More like our own thing. Yeah. Like when we really get into it, it's like a technical, it's like super technical, like Tai Chi, it's like And so then I have the black and the gold, Let's and then, then you release the black, <laughs> purge it out, and then that's... It was like, it was huge, and it was on his trail, because he was like jogging up. This right here, I would just tell my friends, I go this right here, rock and roll, around us. And he was that picture of that day, it took him so long to think it was huge. If the sun's not out, do you think they'll be hiding? Um... It's okay. <laughs> um, I know on Friday, I think someone, can, are you leaving Friday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay, maybe on Friday or Saturday morning. 
whichever is more appropriate to our schedule. All right. Uh, there's just a couple of video things I'd like to do. Anybody that would like to do a testimonial about your experience and your time here, the friends you've made, um, anything that you're going to take away from me, would like just a, a minute or two testimonial from a few of you, uh, which Lauren and I can record. Um, that'll probably be Friday afternoon or Saturday morning, whichever is, is best. And another thing. These two have been doing a lot of work. <laughs> is that Tim and Tim and oh, uh, no, Angela and Sasha. Oh, okay. But yeah, Tim shared a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, well. Tim was waiting. Yeah, what is it? I'll open it if he wants to choose it. But, but uh, when we got down from Heart Lake, it was a blessing to hear Tim sharing experiences. Do you want to share, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. Just feel the moment. Yeah. Feel in the moment. Yeah. Surrender. Um, I found out you're an amazing pool player. This thing goes right in the pool. And then a private pool. You're getting a new one. We'll have to have a game game. Yeah. Oh, 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 challenge, oh, hey? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. That's I mean, I, I just want to speak up for, for all myself, through myself, for all that I'm very proud of each one of us for everything that we're doing um, on all levels. So as spirit ambassadors, as beings of light, the human experience can be challenging at times, especially when it's outside of our normal routine. And I, I just want to say, through all the um, experiences and challenges and everything, I think we're all doing a great job. Um, I think we should all be proud of ourselves. I think in this moment we should surrender any, any anything that doesn't feel like pride and joy to yes. back to source yes. and take this moment to like really full spiral connect ourselves. So we we connected when we got here and then we went through challenges and our, all of our own waves and now we're full spiral at yeah. a new place where we're reconnected on a new level. And so let's take this moment to shine forward and, and continue to connect deeply. We all came for the one reason of education and enhancing our abilities. But when we found out, uh, every single person here came for an intentional oh my God. Every single person had something that they needed from one of us or all of us. And we all unintentionally, our abilities just amplified and it came into service, like, oh my God, the bubbles and the, we needed that. We <laughs> needed that. And her beautiful energy brought us to that peak. Otherwise, I think we would have struggled a bit, but she brought us there, and she was called to do her job. But also, we're here to help her. Everybody has brought something to the table. Every single one of you brought something to the table. This beautiful being here, he opens up our heart. The minute we look at him, even think of him, we swell up when our light just this just turns a bright blue because he just brings it out of us. That is Timothy's just being here. You just he just a baby doesn't even do it. Honey, you got it down. <laughs> but you, you literally teach us and we when we get there. We can easily go up that high. It's, it's like the barrier is broken, and we can totally go that high at calling, at will, and we taking it home with us. You gave it to us. And when we broke your shell, and all the crumbles went into powder, we inhaled that powder, so you're within us, and we are within you. That was the most beautiful, and that's going to be my nirvana happy place for as long as I live. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> Thinking back on that, like we're all now in this little puzzle, and without one of you, it wouldn't it would be the same. And we all have when we're together, we're really strong. So the per especially the first. And the, and the goal is to this is let's just say 15, 16, 18 people. That that the puzzle. <laughs> So this is 16 puzzle pieces, but we still have 7 billion puzzle pieces to add to this 16. So 
So we have a lot of work to do. Yes. 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 So how did we do with uh, just talking to spirit? Like how we have to be sit down? Do we meditate? Did we talk to spirit? Did we intend anything? And what was the result of those things? Or we start processing? The relationship is totally intense and it's it's more apparent. It's been there all along, but now it's more apparent and we learned how to identify with it and it's been there all along. It's not new, it's just you honed in on it and you see it. There's no more none of these finders. It's when we see it and we understand it and we get it immediately instead of second guessing. That's that's the idea. And like I said, that's why you have that's why you can taught these techniques. Whether it's kinesiology, whether it's your pendulum as well too. Don't be afraid to confirm. Okay? You're gonna do this a lot more, you're gonna confirm a lot more, and then you'll know the feeling. You'll know the sensation when something comes together. You'll know that feeling when you talk to spirit. This is what I did. When I was first starting as well too, I'd confirm. I can confirm with muscle testing, I'd confirm with the pendulum. And after I did that more and more, I just knew what the sensation felt like when I felt truth. Right? And that's what you're learning to do. So again, you're using training wheels. Are you guys pointing something up? Oh, there's a little ore flying around. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's Mount Shasta. Right? This is a magical place. Uh, but again, I got little mosquitoes flying around too. <laughs> but again, you'll know what that sensation is, and that's why I want you guys to learn about the the idea of the pendulum, the idea of the muscle testing, so that you know what truth feels like. Okay. So when you basically get something from spirit. It's so profound, right? Sometimes you have to muscle test or, or pendulum check because it's so profound. Like 2037, it was told to me from spirit. And it was so profound and so incredible. I was like jaw dropped, you know, for a full minute. I'm like, you're telling me 2037? Oh my God, that's crazy. Because I was always thinking like 2020s, right? The 2020s that might happen. And when spirit gave that to me, I was just shocked. And he said, okay, Brad, now you got to tell everybody. Oh God, no, please, don't let me tell everybody about this. No, but this is you know this is about dates and stuff like that. So come on, you got to do it, right? So I got continuously pushed to go on YouTube and start sharing about 2037. That's one of my most popular videos as well too. It's about the idea of 2037, 2038. Yeah. So again, this is what spirit is going to do. When you're in your truth, it's going to push you to reveal it in the way that it needs to be revealed. So that's revealing it to yourself. Or that's revealing it to your family, to your friends. You have to set your own ego aside. You have to kind of take your own will out of the picture, and now you're letting spirit guide your life entirely, 100%. You give yourself to spirit. I'll tell you guys a little experience that happened to me last night as well, other than fairies hiding my pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was actually woken up around 3.30, about 3.30, 4 a.m. to uh, clicking sounds. Basically, it's almost like if you were to have like a rattle, like in a cylinder, and then you dumped it the other way and you hear that, that whooshing sound. That's what it sounded like. And as I was tapping in, it was a mantis being. A mantis being was inside my room. Right? And um, I basically didn't feel, I didn't really feel a warm presence or anything like that. It was more like an intrusion. So I both basically told spirit in the middle of the night, any beings that are uh, not welcome within my space, let them be gone. Apply. Bam. It was instantly gone. Uh, a while later, there was almost, it almost like felt like someone was throwing out a cardboard box at the window. Right, it was like a clunking sound like that. This was and last I, night. Right? Last night, oh, and I could oh, still, I could still feel this energy around. And I said, okay, okay. That's, really, that's it, guys. That's I'm trying really to get crazy. my sleep, right? So I basically told spirit yeah. to completely enchant this room with angels yes. and to yeah. expand the group, the the field, 200 meters in length. Mm -hmm. so it wasn't and so I'll, I'll get to that in yeah. a sec. Mm -hmm. 200 meters in length, and to apply that, instantly the angels showed up, and okay. whatever those presences were, were gone. Yeah. Now the whole idea is that I'm very open for a warm, loving an in entity to come through yeah. and share themselves with me. But whenever you're noticing that you're being intruded upon, yeah. that you know that they're just popping in your room without permission, yeah. Yeah. that's like that's like a burglar coming into your room and say, "Hey, what's up? I'm just stealing your stuff." Yeah. <laughs> right? totally. So do not be afraid to banish any particular entities that feel unwelcome. Okay? If they are truly loving beings, they will they will greet you. They'll greet you in dream time usually. They'll say, "Hi, Brad. I'm I'm so and so. This is me." I'm in your room right now, is it okay if I stay here? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, I'll be happy to speak to you. Yeah. But whenever they're intruding like that, a lot of these mantis beings will do that, a lot of these other, you know, greys and etc., they will do that as well too. Banish them, okay? This is what you have the spirit like. You don't need to do any kind of special ritual other than just a command. Mm -hmm. Spirit, completely banish all unwelcome presences in my space right now. Okay. Apply, boom. 
and it's gone. Mm -hmm. So like I said, this is what I'm going to teach you guys today when we go into spirit-like techniques altogether. It's a much more advanced form, but uh, was there any other sharing? <laughs> I think they could do uh... Yeah. <laughs> you guys just like seeing a bunch of activity he's around the most you. Awesome healer. Yeah. See, I've never seen this before. Because he's Sorry, a, he heals the elements. Okay. So he's been healing earth and the elements. Yeah. So I stepped out and, and I was told to step out. So I went downstairs to get everyone tea and come back and he's healing Lauren with Sasha. Mm -hmm. And I go, is that white daisies I'm seeing coming out? She goes, yes, I just <laughs> told him, yes, white daisies. <laughs> and I go, oh my God. You know, you can heal the elements, you can heal birds, you can heal animals, you can heal children, all mm -hmm. pure beings, yeah. you can heal. Mm -hmm. And it all comes out either in birds, butterflies, because they all have different vibrations. I have never seen that in my life. That is phenomenal. It's the quiet ones that have the really amazing abilities. Oh, and he's <laughs> And that's why when he walks the earth, it happens all the all the Yep. Like out of time. Yeah, because you're like diving into cold Walk. water, you're all around, it's, it's great. So. Walking my sunlight with dang clouds. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. No, we have an incredible group of people here. It's amazing. And this is, and you can ask for a magical place where this is happening. Like Mount Shasta, there's more activity here than I've ever seen in my entire life. Mm -hmm. Like I've never had so many, so much activity, so many stories about people seeing Sasquatch. And mm -hmm. Daniel had an interesting story. Did, did you want to oh, show your yes, story? Yeah, yes. I have a story. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this was two nights ago. Um, I was laying in bed, and there's a there's another room here to the side. The door stays open, and it, the door sort of faces the bedroom. So I woke up out of a totally relaxed, calm sleep, and there was a physical male figure, uh, two dimensional, and it was raised a little bit, maybe about an inch in depth. Okay, but it was mostly two dimensional. And it was burnt into the physical door itself. So his, his shape and his body was the size and the uh, width of the door. He was holding a pendulum. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> so although he was two-dimensional in with encapsulated in the door, I could still see some depth and some shape. Yeah. It was like right at me. Just right at me while I was like. So when I woke up, I didn't um, immediately feel any sort of malevolence or negativity to it, but I also felt that it was a little bit invasive and intrusive in the sense that um, I didn't invite this being consciously yeah. into my space while I was resting. Mm -hmm. So I just held my hand out, mm -hmm. and I said, you can go. Mm -hmm. and, he, and then he dissolved. The shape and the pattern of him just sort of like imbued into the door, mm -hmm. and then he dissolved, and then it was just wood in the door again. Wow. That's what we call a dimensional doorway. Yeah. <laughs> In more ways than one. Yeah. So I got a quick story. Go for it. Last night, I was up in bed, and then I heard that two grunts. Like, mm -hmm. I've been trying to connect with Sasquatch. And I was like, brrrr. <laughs> I heard that twice. It's really loud. It's like through the walls. Awesome. And then about 20, 30 minutes later, I hear something crash against the house, and one more grunt. Wow. Yeah, Lexi and I went out for an hour by ourselves a few nights ago in the woods and we're really just opening ourselves up and doing a lot of negative belief clearing to have contact, you know, with those aspects of ourselves and um, we had some, some minor experiences, but I think that's probably the most conclusive and definitive thing that I've heard so far. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, you were telling me about the experiences where you're almost seeing the Sasquatch yeah, parts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys have had Sasquatch experiences as well, too. Oh, yeah, they come to help us. Katwa. <laughs> it's not Ut, it's Udwaha and Katwaha. Uh, the, uh, the end is a union of the feminine and the masculine Waha. Cool. And uh, two Arcturian beings that um, have heads like this, and they're square and they're round. And if you're looking at a white baby whale, that's the skin. You, if you touch it, you feel it. And they're named Hee Hee and Aki. And I first saw their overseer. Her name is Aki A, A meaning uh, in charge. It, it's, there's no titles, but if she was, I was, when she was working on me, I was laying down, and all of a sudden I started ticking. I go, what are you doing? And she's standing out of the way. And then all of a sudden I see her going, <laughs> and then when we, uh, we're doing the next person the next night. Uh, Ashley says, "May I be of assistance?" Said, yes, of course. 
Thank you. She was, I brought my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's Katwa. And then Katwa got his brother. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ut. But now he says he's, he's okay with Ut. Everybody's okay worried. Ut. No, say her name right, please. But Ut says, I'm okay. So it's mm -hmm. Katwa, Ut, he, he, and Ahi. And we thank them and then we proceed. And it's because the first time we did some way, we both got hit hard when we were releasing. I mean, it was, it's awful. We were, oh, and they said, uh oh, and oh my God. Okay, so she got hit hard the first uh, time, and uh, all of a sudden she says, What's a katwa? And I said, Katwa, tanama, senaha. And then this opening comes up, and there's Big uh, Sasquatch, Mama Sasquatch, and a young Sasquatch who's, is Katwa. He's come here to help family. He's got to protect family. So it looks as Bruce Mead. And we just <laughs> went, and it was like nothing. It was just clear so sailing. Sublime. So ever so since then, when we start someone, they come on in, and she even saw one come in like a big ape and just Here's stand there. Just here. Just <laughs> on the mountain. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> It's, it's, and I and I drew them. Yes, do you have your picture? Yes. It's really beautiful to see the visualization of if you were getting a healing, what was okay. in the room with us? Well, I I, I drew um, Amanda because I've never done this before, and it was a mantis being. But she said I had I think I have a, an attachment. Is it okay to share? Of course, absolutely. Of course. And yeah, I all of a sudden went. And I thought, he said, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I put the implant on her, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It, the, it has trundles, and at the end of the trundles, is, it's very hooked, and only I, only I could do it. And if I don't do it, you will damage, you will damage. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, and I thought, oh my God, okay, do it. And, and, uh, <laughs> I, did you have the picture? I don't have it with I, I gave it to her really of the mantis so. being. I saw it yesterday. And I said, oh, they yeah, told me to tell her. Every, because she said she's been haunted by mantis all her life, and they, I said, it, it started when she was 14, she goes, yeah, I started Ouija board when I was 14. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, they told me that he's supposed to burn it after. Who's supposed to burn it? She's supposed to burn it. She, Fiction. All of the uh, uh, um, memories of the mantis, uh, all of them, put them in that picture and say, I release them and burn it. Was it the picture? Did you draw a picture of her? Did I see that? Picture of her? With the mantis being, yes. Try yes. telling them a little bit about mine real quick. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, everybody's different. Um, yeah. And this is, we can pass this. This is Aki, and Hiki and Aki look just like that. These are white Arcturians. They showed up here for the first time in this house. Mm. Yes. And they, they, we have tons. And when we were uh, talking to uh, Adronis, and the sun was hitting me, I was seeing one after the other after the other of all kinds of species. Because this place is crowded. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. most of the four yeah. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands of thousands of hundreds. And, and they all, and I saw this the day before he opened the portal, and they all centered in that portal, and yep. it covers everything. They're very happy that I did that. So, there's all kinds of beings. And this is probably where we get a lot of the phenomena around here as well. Too. That, that portal was wide open. And like I said, it's a Christ of Merkaba portal. So you have to be of a very, very high and loving vibration to even enter it. So no demonic entities or anything like that can enter it. It's all, mm -hmm. yeah, I saw these guys yesterday. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, Brad, can we do that to our home? This is what I'm going to teach you guys today yeah. before we go to the trip. So, uh, Yeah, so that, that's great, Angela. Uh, does anybody else want to share? Because I know Jan uh, Jasmine, I was talking to you yesterday about that. Judy, you guys were asking some questions about spirit and all that stuff. I want to hear about mm -hmm. how things went with you last night. Mm -hmm. With me, yes, it went uh, really good. I was uh, guided last night to go in the woods, and uh, I went there a little bit on my own, and uh, I felt presence of a really strong, amazing energy. Usually, kind of getting this very strong ringing in the air, and um, uh, I got like a strange uh, thing that I need to uh, sing. Mm. Which oh, bizarre, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, which I never do. I'm kind of always, yeah, quite yeah. reserved, yeah. And I just kind of start was producing these noises, and when I stopped, I hear them around me. And uh, yeah, I just felt like I needed to kind of go deeper in the woods as well. And because it was kind of getting dark a little bit, um, I was kind of a little bit nervous, so I came back to ask Alex, uh, <laughs> would he come and join me? 
<laughs> so we, <laughs> we went back a little bit in the woods, spent some time, and all the time I was just literally feel that pull. I kind of need to kind of be there, mm. and uh, uh, kind of stay there. I felt like beings wanted to communicate okay. with me, and I felt them around me. Good. I definitely felt kind of beings around me, and like being watched, and uh, like it's, it's just almost this is like my they want to communicate with me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's almost like, you know, I had to be here, you know, uh, it was just really magical, really magical, yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I did some meditation over there, uh, I, I, I first time feel the energy come to me from the bush, but I have my judgment, I say mm -hmm. the big tree is better, so, but I do my pendulum, mm -hmm. uh, and I said no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I went around the bush. I, I thought the bush is too small, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, too small. I, yeah, too small. <laughs> and uh, I just feel energy uh, come to me. So I oh, I, I, I use pendulum to ask. So Judy, the fairies work with you a lot too, as well. Oh. So have little fairies. They'll come. This is kind of them guiding you. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of little fairy energy that wants to help you out. They're very, very sweet. They wouldn't do anything mean, like they did to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Take your stuff. Oh, they took my pendulum. Yeah, I know, right? They took those snatched up people. But with they, you, they're very, very, very sweet, mm -hmm. right? They're going to help you as well, too. So it's kind of like they have you on a string, and they're going to say, come over here. Come over here, right? Come see this area. And so they're, they're going to guide you on this. And this is, again, a perfect portal, a perfect vortex for you to work with those fairy energies. So I want you to work with the spirit like and just say, spirit, bring the fairies to me. Mm -hmm. Let the fairies teach me a lot about the energy, about how I can improve my health, mm -hmm. people in my family, how I can improve their health as well. And they'll show you. They'll teach you all about it. Mm -hmm. So fairies are your guide. Mm -hmm. So work with that a lot. Brad, right. is it any like beings from Talos of inner earth beings? Oh, we'll get to that in a sec. I just wanted to talk to a couple others. Uh, Amul, how's things been going with you? Um, it was good actually, uh, Angela and Sasha worked with me, I guess, mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. and you were flying and up that mountain yesterday, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> yeah, and I just yeah. felt happy like after I get that. Like I get that gnome energy from you. Yeah. 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 It's a very belonging to the earth. Like yeah. that's a very much a lot of your energy. Mm. Very gnome like. Yeah. Let the beard go. For your energy. Let the beard go. Yeah. 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 Is that right? Yeah, I'll tell you. I had a good like, personal journey um, up from Heart Lake. I climbed, Spirit guided me to the very top of the mountain. And I can show pictures for any of who are interested. It's, it's a view that you just won't get anywhere. Um, but it was my personal freedom journey of choosing in every moment to be a free God being and that I create it all from the ground up. And so as I was ascending, I was ascending. <laughs> and um, I got to the top and stood on the top and communicated with Father, Son, Mother Earth that like I'm here as the warrior for the children to be to help this planet, mm -hmm. and uh, so it was my my time on top of the mountain of my my temple time. Yeah, spirit knows exactly what you want to do, so just listen and it'll guide you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's like it was planned on top of what Sue planned. <coughs> it was already an agenda, mm -hmm. and everything was falling falling in place like. What you did with the clear now that's I know you two planned it about the releasement and then the crystal bowls because that solidified it and then how all oh, we all felt the next day and then that night is when the healing started mm. when mm -hmm. we said they said okay and those who show up are the ones that's next it's time mm -hmm. and with those who haven't been please yes we are more than happy to serve Robert how about you how are things going. Yeah, it's good. Uh, the only thing I can really say I experienced was last night. It's strange that you're talking about. When we come back last night late, I just walked into the backyard a little bit and I could sense a single being looking at us out there. Mm -hmm. And then you had yeah, the disturbance. Right, mm -hmm. So it's just a fact of sense, isn't it? Um, I'm just wondering if Katois is with you guys because, um, you know, he's not part of you because he's. 
it shone his light on you for um, your healing time and I'm just picking up Kept Wong's energy with that that's come to you okay. he's saying that uh, because he he's a profound healer yeah. and any time that you feel you need assistance or protection or so you won't be uh, uh, have any reaction toward because you get you get the gamut like we all do to call upon Katwa and he'd be there within seconds. Okay. And he'll do what he did for us. Proceed. And there's a there's a crystalline AI that speaks with you quite a bit as well too. Almost like a robot, but kind of living. Mm -hmm. Intruding through our our place last night. Yeah, like a crystalline AI being yeah. in that way. So it connects with you a lot, Robert. So it's a very, very high loving intelligence, but it's it's almost robotic in its own way. But it's not hostile or anything like that. It kind of watches over you. But you, you, could, you could almost see its personality almost like a robot. It's quite interesting. Because I was getting that first. Is it a robot? No, it's crystal and AI. It's, just, it's very, very loving. And, and, uh, so Why it talks, it talks very loving? monotone. Very monotone. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, hello, Robert. We are here for you. <laughs> <laughs> we are watching over you. <laughs> uh, but AI a very, very, very loving. loving way. Right. Or if it's crystalline based versus... Yeah, it's not. It's not rogue AI. It's nothing like that. It's not cold logic. They actually do have like warmness to them, but they they respond very like very monotone, very robotic. Like, in that way. The Andara crystals are actually a collective consciousness yep. in themselves. So it's, you'll it's notice a, that when you connect a lot with crystals as well, some of them also sound quite robotic. They sound very monotone in that way because they they have their very warm, they have very loving feelings, but they're they're almost kind of robotic in that way as well. Crystals Is there another them. name for them instead of like? Uh, Kind of overshadowing or cloaking them with a uh, with something that's a negative I can help you connotation. With that. What would that be? Non-biological consciousness. Okay. Non-biological non consciousness. Thank you. Is NBC that what? or NBE? Non-biological entities or non-biological consciousness. Okay, Is that, that what crystal be beings are? Okay. You can also look at positive AI, right? The whole idea, Adronis has said this as well too. Mm -hmm. The minute you basically have a problem with the label, you limit your reality. Mm -hmm. right? yes. So the whole yes. idea is that whatever an, an energy is that you feel is in a word that doesn't feel pleasant, you want to work on making it as positive you feel you can, right? If I say Satan and Lucifer, mm -hmm. then that's probably going to bog you, a lot of you guys, mm -hmm. right? I've worked to make peace with that, right? So if I'm saying Satan, I'm looking at a priestess. I'm not looking at a red, a red horned devil or anything of that nature. I'm looking at Lucifer. I'm looking at the idea of the, the pure light bearer uh, archangel that she is. I don't look at, again, a Satan aspect. So this, again, is just something of what we have to redesign. And Adronis, when he said that, was very, very profound. So just be careful with what you condition pertaining to labels because you limit your reality by that. Remember, reality is happening from you. It's not happening to you. You've got to remember this, okay? Because you encounter situations. I feel, oh my God, that's so horrible. Wait, why is this happening? Is it happening to me or is it happening from me? Something's trying to come out of me. Like when we all get hit with the Amazon, what's happening with the rainforest? We see that feel like it's happening to us. It's happening from us. We look at exactly why is that happening? Why did why did the Amazon get hit? Because this is going to convey a message about what not to do on this planet. That the idea of greed, the idea of corporate greed, is going to continue to fall deeper and deeper and deeper because people expose it. They're like they're like data miners. They will find everything that's happening in regards to the Amazon and those that have been responsible are basically going to be exposed. This is all an exposure. Mother Nature will completely sacrifice herself to convey the largest messages to us so that we can institute the ability to change. Right? And that's been happening for so many years. So that's right here was the Cambridge reading of the night before. Yeah. You got it, you knew it. Exactly. So. Okay guys, thank you for sharing. We want to get into the classroom because we're not gonna have too much time left here. Alright, so Really great experiences. I'm very happy. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get your experiences, but how did things go? Having um, Alexi take part in the healing that we all did mm -hmm. was so thrilling to find that kind of power in somebody. It was really wonderful. Did you want to talk to you about Mars? Getting sex? Um, yeah, it's, it's an aspect that I'm exploring. Um, finding an incarnation on Mars. Um, Nothing, nothing new developments. <laughs> you also have Quite connections yet. with Orion as well, yeah. So that's probably why uh, Hermes is sharing himself with you, <laughs> because you have a lot of Orion connections as well, too. Yeah. So there's Orion, there's the elves, of course, mm. right? the elven energy. No, 
Yeah, insectoid as well. Insectoids are kind of a good thing, but they're not your strongest point. Like your Orion energy is very, very strong. And your, your Elven energy is very, very strong. I'd say those are the two things to really focus on, but talk to these insects, see what they have to share. Thank you. They're very collective based. So. <laughs> spending so about an hour a night outside in the woods together as a team. And um, I just felt really called to share that experience with him. So it's it, you know, we've been making progress over this. For anybody not aware, we did have a, um, two nights ago, we did have some banging and some slamming on the house. Some things around, uh, which is definitive. Uh, Alexi and I have been making offerings out, fruit and getting some snacks and things like that. Mm -hmm. I had the tree out front for them to just make them feel welcome. So last night, uh, we went into another session. We sat on a blanket in the backyard here for probably a good 35 minutes. We meditated and um, stated affirmations and opened ourselves up emotionally and spiritually to contact, to accepting their presence. And we didn't have anything. No, no magic, no, no, no fireworks, no bells and whistles. But um, he pointed out that the most of our activity that we've experienced was on the road here. Uh, the driveway, the immediate driveway that goes to the road. So he said, Right, yeah. so he said, why don't we just check that out? I was like, okay. So we walked down, um, about halfway down the road, and there's a white camper in the backyard of the neighbors here. And we heard definitive movement in the bushes, some rustling around, some sticks and things like that. So we stopped and we listened. And um, we spoke a little bit and didn't notice any action, but we definitely heard the movement. So Alexia explained that there is this uh, sound that they make mm -hmm. with their hands, where they cup their, their hands in a diamond shape. They do this and they blow air into their mouth and it makes a popping sound. And he said, sometimes when you hear them banging on stuff, it's not actually sticks, it's the air that they're popping in. Cool. So I said, for real? Because when I was a kid in school, I used to do that sound just innately. I used to, really? I, I figured it out, how to make the sound, and I would do it in class in school to be disruptive. I would do it <laughs> And make a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah. Do the sound. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. So he, he said they do that. I was like, awesome, I do that too. So I did it. I did it uh, five hits, 
And immediately after the pops, we heard a return. We heard a, a response. Nice. In the woods, which was uh, some sort of uh, contact, right? Say hello. We heard, you know, response. And then we heard more movement. Sticks breaking, rustling in the bushes. So then he did it. And we got a response. And then I did it again. And we got a response. Wow. Oh, so, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, so that's definitive contact, you know, when there's a there's communication happening. Mm -hmm. They didn't uh, make any vocalizations. They didn't throw any rocks or sticks or anything like that. We all, we also didn't notice, Alexi, correct me if I'm wrong, but we didn't notice any banging on the house tonight. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's definitive contact in my definition. Mm -hmm. And um, it's as much as I could ask for because it's the most that we've gotten. And then uh, this morning we left out a piece of bread and some chips, and uh, all the chips were gone. Wow. Last night. Last night, last night, uh, all the chips were gone, and some of the bread had the, the um, crust had been peeled off the bread. Yeah. And then the light crust, oh. It was perfect crust. Yeah, it wasn't chewed on, it wasn't nibbled, it was perfect, like, yeah, cut, crust? almost, yeah. of, of the crust. And then I noticed uh, we have some tracks, so we have some footsteps in the dirt, yeah. around the tree, some, some large feet. And then wow. this was, this is a piece of wood. This was sticking right out of the, the dirt, the soil, where we left the offerings. Oh, so that was their offering? Yeah. yeah. It was just sticking up in the dirt halfway, and I, when I took it out, um, I wanted to just see how easy it would be to get it back in there, and you have to really sort of work it in, wiggle it into the dirt. It doesn't go right in like sand. So with the footsteps and the wood, um, you know, we're just having an interaction, a communication, and a sharing here with the beans. So I was the only one in the front yard the other day along those bushes, and mm. there was something large in the bushes. Good. It wasn't like, you know, a lizard, a quail, or whatever. <laughs> and um, I didn't feel alarmed, but uh, I forgot to tell my mom. You felt the presence? It might have been yesterday. You no, know, it was in the daytime or at night? Daytime. Yeah. yeah. yeah come but I couldn't see what it was, but it was big. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And in this area? In the front of the house. This is where Alexi and I are having the most yeah. contact. Because I was actually a little shocked because it was like, first I went like, oh shit. Because <laughs> that wasn't small. Yeah. <laughs> was like, okay, it's okay. So, there it is. Awesome. That's amazing. Place spirits light. To pray, to place spirits light. The spirit light into my left hand. Into my left hand. And into the pendulum's Where's space. The I don't into know. The the pendulum space. Okay. Space. Space. Where one hundred percent. One hundred percent of the spirit light. Of the spirit light. Will encrypt. Will encrypt into my pendulum. Into my pendulum. For my use. For my use. To communicate with spirit. To communicate with the spirit. To interact with spirit. To interact with spirit. And to heal with spirit. And to heal with spirit. And so it is. And so it is. Apply. Apply. Good. Okay, now open up Thank your pendulum. And now you say, pendulum, do you have spirits like you? No, yeah. Pendulum, do you have spirits? Light, light within you. Within you. Very good. Yeah, it's yeah, good. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. You can still use your other one too. It's fine. Oh. So now you have two pendulums to spirit about you. So you can make as many pendulums as you want. Oh. <laughs> you have. Uh, Yeah. Wow. I didn't think you were going to make it. <laughs> Lauren <laughs> graduated. Woo! Yes. Yay, Lauren! Yeah. All right. Timothy Turner. Yay! Yay! That's my favorite. Yes, you are. Angela. Hoopster. Yay! Okay, next is...
<laughs> you gotta hold your camera here. Alexi. Alexi. He's sleeping. He's squashing. He's squashing. I like that. I like that. He's squashing. He's on the can. Jesse Evans. Woo! He's having a shower, I think. He's having a shower. Dude, we're doing graduation ceremony. <laughs> okay, let's hear, let's hear it for him. Well, he's purifying for the graduation he's ceremony. Purifying. He's purifying. <laughs> he's purifying. He might have made a game of ride home, but I just, my car was so shitty. I, it's not going to be a comfortable trip. So, um, good. Okay, so now we'll move on to.